Alright guys, what is up? Here in a game between Daver and Leviathan, we have Daver here on the left hand side um, playing Liches and on the right hand side we have Leviathan playing a SLUD mix. Um, it is an aggressive battle group that um, kind of has the, the best of both worlds because UD by itself, yeah while it's in an aggressive fashion, uh, sometimes doesn't have the uh, utility spells um, that are needed. Um, they also don't have too many heals, which can sometimes be what you need to like keep the fight going that one extra turn where your champion survives. So, for example, if you play the um, Dunes Manticore, you can heal up one of your champions, push a little bit, push for one more turn, where um, if you were only UD, you'd have to sacrifice, right? Now, um, they did play two games before this um, on the same map. Not this map, but they played on the Ironfist Stronghold map twice. And Leviathan won both of those times. Um, now it is, uh, like we see, a different map. So we're going to have to see if this time, hopefully, Daver has an easier time. I think he will because the Iron Fist Stronghold map is quite quick. Um, yeah, you have a side font, but that usually just gets, you know, either it gets ignored or um, we see it harassed, right? But it, it's not like... It, it, it doesn't it doesn't play you don't really play around it as much usually you kind of just like oh they have a flying champion okay i guess you have to play around it now if they don't have a flying champion then you're usually fine right um and of course leviathan does play a few flying champs with these angel of wars um now um so and in general like i was saying this this battle group from leviathan like i said it, it's a bit more aggressive he has the Scorched Dwarves. He plays two of them, right? So he can he kind of keeps pushing. He he gets a it's more like a mid range deck, really. Um, if you if you're familiar with Hearthstone, where he he gets these uh, Scorched Dwarves out. He kind of gets a, a kind of a footing. He gets a few really you know high damage dealing champions out, and then he just you know starts pushing, pushing, pushing with spells like non never ending spells. Look at that. I already have a. 30 damage dealt to this Draco Lich. A lot of damage from the Shoal Demon. Um, anyway, so that's how this group from Leviathan looks like. He, he has some amazing beaters. Look at this. These are the best beaters in the game right here. We have Shoal Demon, Chosen, uh, Angel of War. Really the best beaters in the game are from SL and UD. And he's just playing all of them, right? And then once he has a few out, then and he has his uh, Scorched Dwarves out, he'll be getting that extra Nora. So that every turn he plays a spell you know, or two, and then just push, push, push. And then, um, if he needs it, he has the Dude's Manticore to kind of heal up a little bit. Now, on the side of Daver, he, he has a much slower battle group in that he has many singular champs um, and little things that that uh, boost. That's a good good play there. Um, he has many, many singular champs that kind of uh, boost the Liches. For example, this Dark Apprentice, the most important one, really. Uh, we have the Worship Lich, so all the other Liches get regeneration, which is amazing. Um, here, wait, let's go back to that. We have that, yeah, Worship Lich to give them all regeneration. And then we have that Lich Apprentice to give all the Liches the 5 max HP. So if we have a standoff game where Leviathan can get, let's say, 4 to 5 Liches out, then, you know, he can somehow, uh, or he can then use a Lich Apprentice. He all of a sudden just added, you know, 20 HP just like that um, by using that on 5 or 4 champions, you know. Um... And then you can also use that Worship Lich just so that every single one of these has regen. You know, usually SL is the champ the uh, faction with loads of regen, but every single Lich gets regeneration then once he uses that Worship. I wonder if he's going to use it here for the Draco Lich. Because that Draco Lich is in a lot of danger. 24 HP on it right now. Of course, we do know that Daver is Forsaken Waste. So that's another point into why um, he is more of a late game. Forsaken Waste is usually a, a good late game faction. There's the 5 max HP gain. We just saw that. So now we have 49 HP. We have 57, but he does lose that 6 HP, right? Now, what we didn't see, though, is no, uh, no Roar Banner yet, because then they'd be at plus 10, right? So that'd be a bit better. I still think this Draco Lich is dead. Um, he can just attack once and then use Blood Rage. He can attack with the Chosen, but I'm pretty sure uh, we see I, uh, he has double regeneration. Oh yeah, so this is a good play. The Skeezy Terror kind of counters for Taking Waste often because of that um, Relic Overload. That means that the Lich 
uh, themed relic cannot be played. War banners cannot be played for um, lever, so you can't play the war banner. You can't play the relic themed lich, you know, thing. And he can't play, you know, anything against healing like scroll decay. He can't play um, unholy tomb. I, I doubt he plays unholy tomb, but if he had that, he can't play. So all those relics are kind of just dead weight now in his rune dock until he kills this trigger. Yeah, what I was gonna say is um, we have double scorched dwarf for Dabber. All right, there's a. Yeah, good kill here with the, uh, this is what I was saying. He has enough Nora to always keep deploying, play a spell, get a kill. And it's very um, common of UD, but just the, the extra utility that SL brings. Like, usually UD is like, well, I have to keep pushing, but oh wait, there's all of a sudden a relic that's really just wrecking me. Well, now they have Skizik Trigger, we have some healing. The, the damage that was just dealt from the Mind Slice Boomerang can kind of be healed up with that transfer life. Um, with the petrifying gaze and the sand spray just delay things, um, so they can push. Like the manticore is really the big one that of SL that kind of helps here. Where there we just see the uh, the uh, death pact right there. Now it's 17 health on that shoal demon, so he can double tap with the undead sage, but he can't get the Nora globe. I don't see a way in which he can get another Nora. Yeah, he has the kill. Two defense right here because of the one SL bonus, right? So that's uh, 11 minus 2. So he gets the kill, like I said, but not the Norglobe. That's kind of sad for him. If he got the uh, the Norglobe there, I'd say it's fine. Because uh, now he can't deploy, right? Or he might not be able to, at least. If he deploys, he might still be doing okay. There, all right, there's a small deploy. See, if you had gotten that Norglobe, good drain as well. That's nice. Um, but yeah, if he had been able to get that Norglobe, uh, then he could maybe deploy something bigger, not just a 54 Nora champ, right? Vendetta, okay. That causes Soul Sift, so once the Cliff of Unrest dies, he'll gain the Nora back, as well as um, Vengeful. So now, you should have really played that first, um, even though it's when your own champions die, right? Yeah, okay. And it has to share race. Um, yeah. So, I want to say, yeah. Or liches have a lot of these little things. You throw liches, you throw the lichlings at them to kind of delay. Um, you have the cleric with the um, leverage and the invigorate, which is really amazing. Kind of uh, allows for double taps often. And then you don't have extreme damage with the liches, but they get really tanky. The elder vampire gets really tanky with regen and the um, what is it called? Vitality creation. The all the all the champions have regen. It's crazy. Look. Or not him. For so he just uh, lost the 12 HP because of the drain, right? But he's gonna regen that back in the turns that it takes for the drain to be back anyway, right? So it's really nice to actually be able to use drain, and then that's actually a really good combo. That might be the reason you play it. And first of all, Zulos is really good, but that's definitely a nice combo just to be able to drain your cha the enemy, your own champions, um, and then just have them regen up, right? So he only lost six HP now, right? And he healed for twelve, and it's a two-turn cooldown. So for two, every two turns, this guy can heal himself for two. Not bad. <clears throat> All right, so we did just see Leviathan get that Norglobe, and we see the Lichling moving in front of the Zulos, kind of to protect him, right? So like I said, kind of sad he doesn't get that Norglobe. It's four v four right now, um, and then up here it's uh, I guess one v one. Fifty-five HP on that Angel of War though, because he's in invigorated, so he's uh. Kind of a force to be reckoned with. With that Hunter Walker as well, he's at 5 defense right now with the SL bonus, right? So, plus 2 defense from the uh, Hunter, and then 1 defense from the SL bonus. So, every damage was dealt to him by the Elder Vampire would be reduced by 5. And then we have, you know, 7 speed. He's flying, so really solid champ here, right? And then uh, Battle Leader can totally just get ha make things... Um, was that a heal? Yeah, there was, like I was saying, this is just what's so important is now the SL can kind of keep sending champs forward to heal. And then if, if you're thinking of, you know, what's better than an Arrow Eater champ or what's almost as good, well, the, the Primordial Enigma, right? You have that Enigma shield, which is basically or very very similar to a Arrow Eater um, or maybe more like Elusive, but he's much more utility, right? You have that Tremor, Vitality Creation, make him really tanky. Uh, magic damage, 7 speed is quite quick. And then look, you have a ranged gem now. Ranged, ranged, uh, for SL is very big. They don't, or for UD, they don't have much range. So, really like this combo from Leviathan. Really creative and well thought out, right? And then we have the Scorched Dwarf also for the Manson to, uh, heal up after the, uh, uh, what's it called? 
Price of Victory, he can heal up the Shrine a bit again. So right now, he is gaining uh, 12 extra Nora per turn, um, Leviathan is. So Leviathan is one font up, up, so to say, at the moment. And look, it's four champions down here, four champions. So this is even champion-wise. And up here, it's two right now, just because Davra had to play this Dark Prince. This Dark Prince is basically an expensive relic, right? It does a lot. I mean, it gives all of your champs regen, which is pretty dope. It gives them all that max HP, which is pretty dope. It can attack every once in a while. It's kind of like the Chained Fae. Um, so it's more like a, you know, it's kind of like a relic. Um, in that it won't really come to save anybody or help because it needs to be immobile, but Leviathan could move in now with the angel. Exactly, that's what he's gonna do. After the um, invoke life leech was used, he moves in with the angel war, and that's kind of dangerous, really. No tremor though, which is strong. This means, yeah, this is really well played by Daver to not be within tremor range because if he was able to be tremored here, he would not get away. I mean, he can still be engaged by the Angel of War, but the Tremor won't, you know, can't affect him. He's too far away. Alright. Lichling, also really good to just, like, keep a font like this. Just because, it's like I said, it's 54 Nora. It's really cheap. Um, it's And because it's so cheap, it also, it comes back really quickly, you know, with the... Um, Forsaken Waste Bonus, this champion will be back within, I don't know, a turn? <laughs> Two turns? No. I think the actual cooldown, I think it's minus, six, what, 60%? And you divide the cooldown by 12. I think it was. Oh, the Nora cost by 12. I think. So, it's like, I don't know, three, four turns. Maybe three turns. Um, anyway, so Lichling will come back really, uh, really often, and he can just, and if you play two of these, then, you know, you can just keep cycling them as a defense, you know, you can keep draining them, the uh, initiative is really good, so they can keep getting in the fight quickly, and look, that's the regen, right, that regen from the uh, Darker Pen is really helping here, he just regen as well, so he's back at 68 instead of 62, oh, look at that, quick maths, quick maths, man, what's he gonna do, though? This is always my problem with Liches, is while they have a great late game and that they have loads of utility and, like, fun things, I'm not exactly sure where their damage comes from. I mean, obviously, Essence Drain is always what kind of more damage. So we see, what do we see, a Death Pact again? Three turn cooldown. It might be up. So Death Pact, I'm guessing. Yeah, so there's a Death Pact. So minus 14 health on that Zulos. Like we said, he does have a Drain, so it doesn't matter here too much. Now we can see a basic attack and a blood rage, but he has three defense. Nine. Yeah, so he can do a blood rage. But he won't get the Nora Glob. If he blood rages here, he won't get the Nora Glob. Alright, so he does. This is what's really sad. I mean he can get away with the Lich leg, right? He really needs this Nora Glob though, I feel. And why wouldn't he go to get it with the Liching Ling anyway? There you go, that's fine too. Plays the um what's it called? Uh, Despoil, which uh, gains, you get all the Norglobs first of all, which is really nice. So that, <clears throat> it basically, you know, paid for itself by just getting that one Norglobe. Oh, look at that max HP gain again. 59, 75 right here. Look at that, 75 HP, god damn, that's a lot. Yeah, but he's at 20 now, so. Also, we do have the Angel of War, though, gaining that max, max speed from the Zeal Speed, right? So zeal speed, five turn. Yeah, now we we have the tremor. We should have played around that again. Should have moved two more. So now we have the um, tremor on that elder vampire. He's basically stuck. Look, it takes four AP to move through this water. And if he goes this way, then I haven't even do it that way, I guess. But that's not exactly where he wants to go. He wants to retreat. I believe these two champions uh, are a bit stronger than these two. Ah, eh, it's actually really close. Never mind. With the Draco Lich out and the disease breath, he can actually move into disease breath. One, two. Yeah. Wait. But it won't matter. Disease Breath won't affect the uh, Primordial Enigma. Sorry, I'm not watching here. Damage dealt to that Elder Vampire. There's a Life Leech we just saw. So he he, uh, <laughs> he Life Leech. So he took 7 damage and then he healed it all up again because of that Life Leech. Um, giving him that Life Siphon and Max HP gain. He's at 42, but he is now petrified. So the Elder Vampire doesn't do much anymore. Or he won't be doing anything. And there's really... Actually, no, there is a cleanse in Forsaken Waste, but in a relic. Um, or not a relic, what I'm saying, a uh, equipment. The, uh, I forgot what it's called. 
But would you play that? Because then he's at zero AP anyway, you know? Do you really want to play that on the Elder Empire? Look at that regen, though. This regen is so crazy. Look, all the three champions just regen that turn. They just gain 18 HP just like that. 54 HP on this uh, cleric is really nice. Oh, he's up there. Okay. So he attacks once and runs away. Okay, that's good. 67 max HP right now. Now, it wouldn't make sense to Z's Breath here, though, because the Enigma will not take damage, and he's not in range of the Angel of War, right? He needs to be one up more. So just leave leave the Draco Lich there. These two, these these four can like duke it out. Oh my God, I have to keep moving up and down here. Oh, chain lightning. Can he get a kill on this dude's manticore? Did he use two chain lightnings there? No, right? Yeah, it gets the norglobe as well. Perfect kill, gets the norglobe. What was that? Yeah, there's a nice heal. Um, this is perfect. Per being played really well by Daver, I gotta say. It's like, these perfect death packs and then just drain is so, like, you know, sexy somehow. Death pack, drain, it doesn't matter. Look, back to full health. Doesn't matter. And then just, again, chain lightning. He got a kill there. But like I was saying, though, um, yeah, I, he's, he just got a kill. But don't forget, uh, Leviathan is getting a, no a font worth of Nora Moore at the moment. You can hit once. Also, zeal speed. Yeah, a lot of zeal speed here. Double zeal, zeal speed champs. If not triple. Oh, baby, a triple. It's kind of weird that he left the uh, Lichling there. But it's really just cannon fodder, right? This Lichling was really just a meat shield. It died. It did its worth. It took five hits. Right? This, that Lichling took so much AP from these three champions. Well, a turn's worth of AP was taken from them. Uh, to kill a 54 Nora champion that won't deal any damage, right? They would have much rather gone to kill this Elder Vampire that has regen, heal, and whatever, um, and life siphon. But this is fine, too. So right now, it's three champions versus four um, on this bottom font. Um, and this Elder Vampire is petrified still. So, what was that? What was deployed? And he deploys. Yeah, look at this. It's crazy Nora gain by these two dwar uh, Scorched Dwarves. He can just keep keep pushing, right? He's going to keep pushing, keep deploying. It's kind of like SP almost. Except for not as aggressive. I mean, it's more aggressive. All right, can we see a kill on this uh, Chosen? That what That's what uh, Daver needs to do to stay in this game. If if this Elder Vampire wasn't petrified, then I'd say he's like doing fine and or in the lead. Eh, no, not even in the lead, but he'd be even. But because this petrified on the Elder Vampire, it just he didn't gain any Nora for so long. All right, that was the Oblivion Shield used there. And I can double tap. Oh, there's the uh, Lasher Helm on the Zulos. Didn't see that. But yeah, I can double tap. So it's 11 times 2 minus 3 is 8 plus 8 is 16. So he needs uh, another 8 damage right now. Which I think he has, but he won't get the Norglobe again, right? He can't get the Norglobe if he uses a spell to get a kill here. There, uh, he gets the kill. Uh, that's actually a really nice spell to use here, because it's right in the middle. It's right in this choke point, right? So this choke point meaning the uh, all these champs, uh, well, not really the Sonic Bolt, but both of the Fire Slinger as well as the Trigger can't move through here for a while. Or they can not They can move through it, but they can't um, stay here or else they get kind of wrecked. It's a really good spell there. And you did Genesis Lich. All right, another awesome Lich champion with Consume Adaptive. Adaptive really strong to kind of give you more of a late game um, with all the damage you can gain. Spirit Harvest as well, especially on a map like this where you can play it all the way back here. And look, he gets the font. He gets the font. Really good spell. Well, pl well played by that uh, using the Grasping Death, the Grasping Root Hands, whatever it's called. That was happening. Was happening. Yeah. So it's still four, for two. So two, two, right? And then four, and then four once he comes in. And we're still even on fonts. We're exactly even right now, right? With these two Scorched Dwarves out, they're getting an extra 12 Nora a, f a turn, and the font getting an extra 12 Nora a turn. So it's very even. But like I was saying, uh, the last two games w were won by Leviathan, but I already said this map should give an advantage over to Daver. He, has, um, he had more time to set up. He was able to set up his Dark Apprentice without having it like be in danger this game, while last game, you know... Uh, you, I didn't, you know, cast it or anything, but last game, uh, this Dark Apprentice was in way more danger, um, because it was in that side font, he kept getting harassed. Alright, so there's, look at this regen, though. They all just, they both just regen for three, uh, yeah. 
He just regen as well. He's at 79 HP. This is kind of the late game, really. You don't have late game damage in Liches, but you have late game HP. It's insane. Look at this. Vitality creation. Vitality creation. Uh, vitality creation. You have the HP gain from, from the Dark Apprentice. Sirkin is good for the Vengeful, and uh, he is a Lich as well. So, also a very good Lich. Uh, kind of the, the hero Lich, right? So... Vengeful. Now, he doesn't really have anything thematic to Liches like the um, Dark Apprentice does, but Vengeful helps always. Vengeful's good. That's weird. Why did he do it on the uh, Genesis Lich? Why not on the Cleric of Unrest? Because the Cleric has more max HP. 54 versus 44. It might have been better to use that on the Cleric, but the Cleric is in the front, you know? The uh, Genesis is kind of in the back still, so that's maybe why he used it there. Yeah, look at this Duke. Look at this. Uh, wait, 11, 10, 9, 8. All right, so he's not in range. But with a... Um, with a what was deployed? Look at this deploy, though. This deploys. Wow, it's crazy. Really efficient champ. 65 Nora, 60 Nora, 82. Look at these beaters, though. Three amazing beaters here. Four. Fire Sling. It's just a cheap... 65 Nora is really cheap for 1-3 range and Flame Strike. Strike as well by itself, right? 12 damage Dell. Why don't I get out of that range, though, of the... Um, the Grasping Root Hands, whatever it's called. You can move in with the Sonic Ball, because Sonic Ball is quite tanky, two armor, and the combat awareness is nice. But I definitely move out with the Fire Slayer. Yeah, really interesting deck here. It's really cool. Kind of just like, usually there's meta, right? But usually with the meta, you kind of just, I don't know. It's hard to s explain, but like, ch choosing to have two really chain. Two, like two really good beater factions and then just playing all the beaters and then like utility is funny like there's no range in this battle group at all all you play all he's playing is utility damage dealing spells that deal a lot like like this you know and then just beaters just beaters all, all of them beaters that's hilarious that's funny 21 hp still on this elder vampire looks like less just because of all the uh max hp he has but what this means um which is why it's kind of, um, uh, there's like, uh, what's the word? People argue if the Elder Vampire is really any good. It's because he doesn't have base damage. He only is the strength of body. If you had a base damage of five and then, and then strength of body, you know, it'd be a little insane, but still, right now, he's at one damage, right? Only because he has very low HP. And that makes him slightly useless, right? Only because he's low in HP. And really, th a champion, especially in Chatter Peaks, I'm sorry, in um, Pox Nora, well, you have to watch out for the Horrific Aura here. Oh, wow, look at that damage. Holy cow, that was pretty sexy. So, Essence Drain, Dark, er, and then Death Pack, and then Chain Lightning gets the kill. Yeah, I'd say run the Elder Vampire. Like, you have that regen, right? You have that regeneration going. Also, Invoke, you have soon as well. So I would say run away as far as possible so you have at least time to use the invoke again. And you have that regen. You're getting healed for 12 a turn. Or every round, two rounds, whatever. Yeah, 50 HP. Yeah, this guy, he's like, you know what? I'm fine with using death pack every time. I don't really care. I'm just going to keep uh, draining it and then having them. Look, he's at 6 HP. Oh, no, he'll, he's, he's regening. It's fine. It is fine. Yeah, this regen is insane. Every turn. They, like, it's hard to see sometimes. How much HP it is? Like one heal, you're like, oh wow, look, he just get, he just gained, uh, and that max HP. Look, 64 HP, 83 right now. What is he at? This this support champion is at 57 HP at the moment. Range champ at 52, 46 range. So yeah, really insane max HP gain. And once this guy dies, he comes back so quickly, right? Forsaken waste bonus. Can you play two of these, though, I wonder? I think so. So you can basically just have these guys non-ending, just keep going. I wonder if you can play two at once. So just, like, in one turn, play Lich Apprentice twice from two Dark Apprentices. That'd be kind of cool. They just, like, never-ending uh, max HP gain. And that's really the strength of this battle group, just the max HP gain. It's really funny. So this SL thing gains tons of HP, or sorry, speed from all the zeal and stuff. But this thing, the amount of... Uh, Max HP coming out is, is pretty crazy. And he's still only at 12 damage, which isn't, like, spectacular. But it's just so hard to kill a champion that has such high max HP, 
but also is regen three, right? Because he can just run away for like you know a good let's say four rounds, and then he's at plus plus twenty four HP. Oh, what's that? All right, so there's the the kill, but that's double vengeful proc right there. So he gets an orglobe too. He can engage. He wants to engage here, I'm guessing, just to cause the disengage. Or does he want to swap? No. What? Is he engaging? Just so they they have to run away harder, you know? I feel like he should. I don't know why you wouldn't engage here. Unless like I said, unless you want to swap with a sonic bolt and then run away. So you could go here, swap, and then run the sonic bolt away. That would work. What's he doing? Come on. He deployed up here. So he deploys a another fire fire song. Yeah. Then the uh, Nora gain. So he doesn't he doesn't actually engage here. That's interesting. There might be an invisible relic here that I don't know about. Otherwise I'm not positive why you wouldn't move into this uh space. Alright, so he hits the chosen twice. That chosen most likely dead here. Boom boom, another eight. I mean that's not enough that's not a lot. Because of the uh, defense, but... Oh, and now I can use... Oh, I thought I was going to use a Spirit Harvest. I guess not. Yeah, why didn't he use a Spirit Harvest? That's interesting. He could have he could have used the Frost Code first so he can use the Spirit Harvest. But he didn't. I wonder why. Did he already use it and I wasn't watching? Oh, because it doesn't make any sense anyway, right? Why play Spirit Harvest if it's just going to be el overloaded? Nah, that's why. Alright, good play. Well played. Oh, he hits all three of these guys with a disease breath. Nice, nice played. 70 HP, goddamn. I mean, it looks like he's at half HP, but it's actually at 10. <laughs> all of these champs, 54 HP, 49. Oh, he's also a lich, goddamn. Also, oh, augment creation is probably really good here. I'm not exactly sure why you play the vendetta, though, on the cleric. Like, why not play it on, uh, uh, I don't know, the Genesis Lich? Give him Vengeful and Adaptive, not bad. Huh, whatever. Yeah. It's kind of, I think, in my opinion, uh, getting out of hand. Daver is getting so much value. It's a very slow value. What was that? Did you see that? You guys see that? There's a spider. There's a, a fucking, a fucking not a spider. A, a dragon up there all of a sudden. For like half a second. Swap. All right. So he swaps with the fire slinger. But there is this dead magic zone. It's kind of wrecking him. Can he kill the undead sage who is at still 49 HP? All right. Yeah, double tap. So yeah, that was a, a really nice uh, mind slicer boomerang. He can now double tap. Oh, perfect kill even. Wow. Wow. How do you get a perfect kill? 30 plus 22 or 24 is 54. Wow. It's actually, yeah, that was perfect. Crazy. Crazy. Nice kill. It's kind of annoying, though. This uh, animation of the grasping death hands are still there. Whatever. Grabby hands. Sacrifices the Angel of War after attacking the Elder Vampire once. Does, yeah, definitely get that Norglobe. Now either. Yeah, okay, just run away. That's fine. So he attacks once, get sacrifice, get the Norgo. That's fine. Let's see, let's see. One, two, three. All right, there you go. Oh, it's on him. That's interesting. It's good because he can now, just because of the extra two HP, he can play the um, worship one more time. And there's no summons here anyway, so you just might as well put it on him if you have the Nora. Yeah, this this Nora gain is crazy. They can just keep coming. Look at all these champs. Look at all these beaters. It's hilarious. I love this. Just like beaters after beaters. And beaters, in my opinion, have some of the coolest art in the game often. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Like, range traps are cool, but like, a cool looking beater. It's like, meh. You see, meh. I'm, I'm Waluigi. I don't know. There's another Despoil to get that Nora globe. I think Dispoil is really cheap. It's like 20 Nora on 25 max. There's a Hex. We can see we can see an attack. The Actually, the last round was kind of wrecking him. I wonder if he plays any uh, type of Shatter. Again, just 
Man, these drains, man. Drain plus death pack. So nice, especially with that regen. It's crazy. It's a really cool um, combination there of like as, as an idea, right? It's drain, death pack, drain, death pack. And you're just like healing for 12 um, every two turns. That's a lot. That's a lot. So usually heal rank 3 um, is a three turn cooldown. It also heals 12. But he's doing it every two turns, right? So he's getting way more. Alright, but it's getting a little dangerous now. He doesn't have... It's one of the, the weak things of, of Liches is they don't have any uh, tanks, right? We have the one Draco Lich. What was that up here? We have the Draco Lich. I guess Elder Vampire is kind of a tank, only that it gets so much HP. But like right here, I'm saying right now, down here there's no tanks. Just all range and supports. And that versus just beaters is kind of dangerous, you know what I'm saying? Sorry about that. All right, so I have no idea what just happened. I was gone for like a few minutes because I was uh, getting food. But we're here. What happened? Let me uh, look through the combat log. Combat log. Who who killed what? Tornado was here. Primordial Enigma was killed with a Retribution. Wait. The, whew, wow, this is a big turn. What happened here? Okay. All right. Yeah. Nice. He got a kill with the retribute. Now it's two v three. Uh, two v one up here, and he is now decaying, which is good against that regen, right? And then down here, fire slinger is dead. Yeah. Okay. They all got hit though by that sand. Not that it matters too much, because look at this, 30, ooh, he's actually pretty low now. 35 HP left. Man, but this HP gain, it's like the max HP gain is just so crazy for Liches. 57. They're basically ST champs, but it takes way longer, right? Like, way longer. What's so OP about? Uh, it's what's so OP often about STs. Like, they start out at 57. You know, all their champs are 57 HP, you know, normally. And if you're playing Forsaken Waste, you often don't really care about your bonus now here it's kind of good because it's like a slow battle where champs are being killed one after another right and then at one point leviathan won't have any more champs but uh Dabra will it's always kind of the uh complaint about forsaken waste players like hey um what's the point because the rune docks are so large that you can put you know 18 champs in a in a battle group means that um if you kill one champion let's say every three rounds which is pretty average oh there's the uh that's pretty good uh, that was, uh, the uh what's called price of victory goes in for a kill on the zulos now there's this dead magic zone he has the trigger as well though he doesn't have anything from him no trigger can attack once that's 11 it's not enough even with the uh latcher helm he needs a bit more damage there, all right, that's the kill, though. So Zulos is dead. 
Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, how for saving waste. Often, people, if you have 18 champs to a battle group and then one dies every three rounds, by the time your last champion has died, you have another one that comes out. Wow, double price of victory. Look at that. 7, 27 HP on the avatar. That's really dangerous. Um, but he kills the... Alright, that doesn't really matter too much just because he doesn't come back from that, but whatever. Yeah, double, wow. He's gonna take real long from these uh, Mances, man. 4 HP a turn. Or every, what, how, many, how long is it? 3 rounds. Three. Oh, it's every round. Oh, okay, they can actually heal up quite quickly then. So yeah, those uh, Dwarves are gonna start getting to work, man. They gotta... They got shit to do. All right, Grave Warriors. We could see a Moby this turn. Usually, if you pl uh, play or often, if you play, you know, the Moby, you like doing that too. Yeah, I really don't like the Eternal Lich, especially against the trigger. You just get fucked from the uh, Relic Overlord. Like this is now a 85 Nora. Yeah, four six is pretty good. But look, this is like all, there's so many other four six champs that range champs that are way better. 39 HP is so so ch um, squishy. And then. Um, I guess Dark Favor is really nice, <clears throat> and Gift of Strong is useless. Really, you pay you pay like twenty Nora though for for or like maybe ten Nora for the Phallic Trait or whatever it's called. So he'd be like seventy five without it, and then you'd be okay with it. But you know, eighty five is quite expensive. But it's really nice though that the um, Manson was changed, so that it doesn't have to always be a three cool turn cooldown. They changed it like for all the heals, right? Um, a while ago, where heal rank one was very very little, but the cooldown was lower, right? And that that has different uses. I mean, your your APU is, is used more, but if you have something that um, increases healing by a base amount, then this will be amazing, like really good. Um, but this way, though, the Scorch Dwarfs can actually start healing up that Shrine quite quickly compared to, like, if this was a three-turn cooldown heal for four, you know? That would be pretty bad. Nine speed, though, on this. Wow, nine speed on this Sonic Bolt. That's quick as heck. Ooh, quick. Yeah, is that, is that six HP? Swap, kill with the Fire Slinger. He doesn't get the normal Globe, though. That's pretty big. Big against for second ways. They just, I mean, without getting the Norgulub, uh, he'll just keep deploying. You just play another one, kill the Fire Slinger, and there'll be two Norgulubs, though. Yeah, if this is what uh, Dab has to do sometimes, or what big player, better better players have to think of, is uh, they have to think ahead, right? So Dab has to say, you know what, I can use both hits to get the kill, but then there's two Norgulubs here that the Sonic Bolt will just take, and then it's like, well, I should have really, I mean, you know, was that really useful? I don't know. It would have been nice if we could just kill, uh, kill and get at least one or protect it somehow. And like I said, there's tons of H or Nora being gained by Leviathan. It's like so many beaters to deploy. So many. Oh my god, I love it. It's just beater after beater. But if you have only beaters, uh, and you don't, have it, eh, he has support too though. So he has support. That's fine. That's Sonic Bolt though. Yeah, five five HP. Really uh hex. Yeah, but yeah, look at the look at the amount of champions. Look at the amount of blue over here compared to red. Right. I mean these are just summons, yeah, but still. Hmm. Just that. Sixty four HP for sixty four Nora. Hell yeah. All from that dark apprentice. But it takes so long. What's the cooldown on this thing? Four turns. So this to use this Lich Apprentice uh how many times? Five, uh, four times. It takes twenty turns? No. Wait, what? 
Yeah, 4 times 5 is 20. I'm going to turn 37. Yeah, so if you give this guy early, it still takes 20 turns to get one of your beginning champs up to 20, you know, but they usually die. They don't usually, you know, stay alive until now, but I think the real cool part is the regen. And there's another Draco Lich. Hell yeah. Anyway, um, I think the regen is the cooler one. Just having all your champs have regen is just so, like, interesting somehow. It just means they have so much healing. There's so much healing in this battle group. But look, what other battle group can heal all your champs for six every single turn? It's insane. Uh, purge. It's not useless, though. Or... Well, yeah, what's the point of using a... Uh, purge is really expensive. It's like 50 Nora to use Purge. Just so he can kill a, a summons? I don't get it. What? Why? Me no gusto. Hmm. Alright, well... Alright, GG. Um, really awesome game. Really fun to watch both those battle groups. Really cool. Um, and I, I already said from the start, map-wise, Daver has the advantage. And the other two maps where Leviathan won, he had the advantage, right? So it's a bit of a coin toss. It'd be nice to see a, battle, uh, a map where it's maybe a bit more even. But... Um, I didn't see any misplays, but I wasn't really paying attention to that. I was just talking about the awesome battle groups all the time. I wasn't really talking about what was happening in the game. Um, but either way, awesome game. Bye-bye, guys.